Ontario has a rich diversity of water power facilities. Given the unique characteristics of the surroundings, the river flow, the hydrology, they all differ in their structures, the technology, the size of the units, the dams depending on the topography and the size of the river and watershed. This plant, for example, has uh, got a unique feature with the, uh, the wing wall here. Uh, whether they're just producing electricity as energy or voltage support. This facility is rather unique. Uh, you've got over 100 years of technology between two plants. That powers about 7,500 homes in this community. I think water power supports the local communities by supplying affordable, reliable and sustainable power for many, many years. We assist with uh, public safety, uh, flood control, uh, producing green energy for the local area. Water power's importance for the future is a hundred year old question that still rings true today. Look at what we're experiencing uh, with climate change issues. Water power is a great source of green energy. We need to utilize uh, low carbon, low pollution energy solutions into the future and hydropower does that. Every day as our facilities produce green energy uh, that's fighting climate change. I think it's important to celebrate Water Power Day, particularly because uh, water power is the first renewable energy uh, resource. It's an opportunity for us that are in the industry to, uh, to educate the public and uh, share the successes that, uh, that we have as an industry. Uh, recognition of these facilities, recognition of the people who have built them, the people who work here, uh, and what they've contributed to our society in the last century. And certainly in this region, we have an abundance of water and it's, uh, I think there's a great future in hydropower and we need to explore that more.